Hi, Aunt Lindy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another haul from Deborah at Old Mom's Old Stuff. So today I'm going to show you the holiday things that I have. Not a lot, but some, and some that are, are uh, pretty interesting and fun for the holidays. But before I show you that, I want to show you a few things that I made. And these are soaps that I made for Halloween. One year, and we'll probably do it this year because I made a few, mingled in with the candy that we gave to the trick-or-treaters. We also gave soaps, these soaps that I make. So I want to show you, show you some of them real quick. This is an owl. I think those, the brown and the orange color. It's soap. It smells nice. This is a ghost. And this is an eyeball, bloodshot eyeball. <laughs> Here's a skull head. And a pumpkin. Here's a jack-o'-lantern. These jack-o'-lanterns, <laughs> they're pretty uh, elementary looking, pretty scary looking. Uh, they didn't come out of the molds too well. And then the last one that I'm gonna show you is this brain. Aren't those fun? Oh, sorry, one, here's the last one, a bat. These are just fun. That year that we gave them out as Halloween treats, I uh, used the uh, essential oils that smelled really bad because it was Halloween and this was this was a treat trick rather than a treat. But this year, it, it smells nice. Okay, so now the things that I got and really almost all of these came from estate sales, the best uh, that I can remember. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go a little bit faster, not go into such depth with everything, so I have time to show you all this fun stuff. The first things we'll show you is, this is a Hallmark, this is a little brooch, a little ghost. Look at his little, little orange heart there. Isn't that sweet? And then these two are, I don't know what this, this has a mark on it. This one doesn't. This one's just like a tin or aluminum. But look, it's got a little spring by the stem. And then this little scary witch jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so the next kind of Halloween one is this is really cool. This is a uh, restoration hardware. I paid $5 for dated 2002. Look at this. Candy dish. You put your put your trick or treat, your Halloween candy for the tricksters in this. This is really nice. Really good quality dish there. Okay. So I have a couple of things that I included and they're just fall items. This is another thing that I think would be a nice Halloween decor. It's a tin, but it's got the orange and black. The black is pretty faded and Canco is the name of it. And then this other, this is really for the fall season, but I just thought it was so cool. Now, I believe I did get this at a thrift store. It's made in Japan. I paid $3.75 for it, but look at this. The lid comes off. Can you see the, the, the wheat on there? 
isn't that cool? What would you put in this? Because it's pretty tall. You could just use it as decor. But I just thought this was really interesting, but unique. I, I hadn't seen anything like this before. Here's the top of it. And then there's the bottom of it. So another, this isn't <clears throat> tin, it is aluminum. And a lot of these may, were made by Revere Wear. I think that's what, this one doesn't have that on it, but is this classic mid-century two-tiered dish display piece? This I might keep for myself. I really dig it. You know, and it's got the normal scratches from normal wear. I mean, I think this was made in the, the 50s. Regal wear, maybe that's who makes these. But you'll see these uh, a lot. They'll have the cups and the, the pitchers. Those are pretty common. <clears throat> my, my mother said that when she was younger, people would have them because they didn't break. But they weren't very, the cups at least, the glasses. You know, they would get cold with whatever cold. It would be cold to the touch. If you put something hot, it would be hot. And it didn't keep anything at that temperature for very long. But it was one of the first things that came along, first vessels that were not glass. So families weren't getting their glasses broken all the time. And that makes perfect sense. But anyway, I just really really like that you can kind of see the the nuts there and the there's the texture on this part and then this part is smooth i mean it's, it wouldn't have to be for christmas but i saw and this this aluminum i didn't realize they made all kinds of you know uh, dishes out of these Okay, so let's see. This other thing, this is pretty. It says it is Crystal Czech Republic. Can you see that? The, the etched floral design, floral and leaf design. And then it's got the gold I like then of course as I was there's the bottom as I was washing it I noticed a little bit of a flea bite on one one place that's the only place that I saw it but again for the fall season this would be really pretty put your candy corn in here <laughs> okay then I found this tin. I paid $2.84. It is made in China, but look at this. It's got the apples on the side with the green. I really like this color. Kind of a blue-green color. And then it looks like an apple pie on top. And it's a tin. So, I, not old, but I thought perfect for the fall season. Okay. Oh shoot, I forgot one of the, one of the soaps. This was more of a challenging. This is more of an upgrade. This isn't just pouring soap into a mold. Another soap that I made. This is a piece that I made a couple of years ago. I I save at least on some of my soaps. I have saved at least one bar um, just to have it that I remember I make it because a lot of soapers, really their soap is, the soaps are work of art. And this is, and it has kind of a cinnamony smell, but this is the part that, look at the, the top. So you make this in the swirl pattern and then 
pipe just like you were piping icing on top of a piece of cake and then pipe the little leaves on top of it these 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 pumpkins I poured into a mold and got those and then put this on there and then piped the leaves and then the little whipped cream topping is piped okay so I think probably everything else is winter holiday I found this so I paid five dollars for it the Ten Commandments in VHS hasn't been opened Cecil B. DeMille's Ten Commandments you remember I this this was made in 1956 I remember I was just a little girl the first time I watched it and mom let let us stay up late to watch it later because when we were real little we had to be in bed up by eight o'clock but we got to stay up to watch this movie I can remember that would make a really nice gift for someone okay so we'll start well let's just start over here this is a st. Nicholas square which is a, a, a nice brand I pay a dollar fifty for this cup it's still got the plastic wrapped Look at the little cardinal on top, snowflake, the top to keep your hot cocoa warm, or like I have about three quarters coffee and then a quarter hot cocoa, and I don't, the hot cocoa is what sweetens it for me. It says warm wishes, hand painted, and then this another it 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 looks like it could, could go together. But this is a Temptations piece that I paid $5.25 for. Temptations. And this is dated. Well, I thought it was dated, but it's not. It's made in China, but it comes with its little caddy. A little, almost like a ramekin dish. Look at, look at the detail on that cardinal, though. And then look at the inside, the holly. Pretty. So this is an Henri, which is made in Switzerland. It's a music box and it plays Laurel's theme, Laura's theme. But look at this. It's a little girl, the little Christmas tree. I think she's conducting the orchestra. And this is wood, excellent condition. See even the little flower details on the bottom? And it works. I won't turn it on, because you know, you, this one, you turn it on, you can't turn it off, but the little Henri logo there. Now this girl, I didn't notice it. I can't, oh, I paid $8.46 for it. Her little, one of her little shoes is broken off there. But I still think this will be desirable. I'll probably put about $30 on it and see what happens. So I think probably a lot of you have heard uh, the brand Spode. They're, they make China and they have a, a whole Christmas set. They have the dishes and everything that goes with it. I found a couple of things at estate sales. I, the butter dish. And it's came in the box. I, at this estate sale, I don't know if, in, if these things that were still boxed had ever even been used. It doesn't look like it. But here's the butter dish. And the tree with the Santa Claus on the top. The, this scene, this is, the little Christmas tree scene is the same on all. And when you, when you see it, one of the ways you can tell it's spode is it has Santa Claus on the top. 
and they are made in China. I'm sorry, England. And I don't know if the 90 on the bottom, if that's the year that it was made or not. So we have the Christmas butter dish. And then we have the, the little tray. I paid $2.50 for this. Now this says copyright 1938. I can't imagine that that's when this was made. I think that's just the copyright. Little treat and then for six dollars I got the measuring spoons. Look at that. And you know when you when it's a, a, a nice china has that special sound when it kind of clicks together. Now wouldn't this be fun making cookies with your grandkids? A little bit older grandkids that could that you could <laughs> trust that they would use these and wouldn't drop them and break them. So that's the spode Christmas things that I have. Okay, so we're going to start this little paper mache angel made in Japan. I paid $3.50 for her. Look at her. She's got the raised tree on her front and across her collar in front, hollow in the middle. She could be a tree topper and then smooth on the back. I just thought, see the side of her hands there and her little eyelashes. I just thought that she was as sweet as could be, just darling. And then we have a Jim Shore piece. Now, for Jim Shore, this is really a simple piece. He has some pieces that have such elaborate designs engraved. But this one, she still has the, she's got the tag. And she's... This is titled, let's see, Heartwood Creek, Inesco, Jim Shore with Inesco. And see the, the, the detail on the vegetables and the basket and then the little farm scene, fall harvest scene in the front of her skirt. And here's the back of her. See the, even the detail in her wings. Delightful. Okay. So I got, I did get this at a garage sale for 75 cents. And it has a little, some words written on the back. And it's, the date is 1972. But it's a wood plaque and then this, the plastic little deer scene, deer winter scene. There's the back, it's got his hand. And then it looks like a child wrote this, like uh, maybe it was a gift to someone. So we have that. Oh, shoot. I didn't find it. So I paid, these are made in Japan, little turkey salt and pepper shakers. They still have, they've got their cork plug stoppers. Salt comes out of the back of them. Some of it's cold painted. I'm gonna learn, I've learned my lesson. Don't put it in the hot water. Don't scrub it because the cold painting will come off easily. Okay. 
Now this, this is completely modern, but I just thought it was so nice looking. This will be a, a topiary. Look at that. With the bow. Now that is going to look really nice with the, with the, it's got a, the candle in it. I wonder if it'll turn on. Yes, it will, but I don't think it's going to be bright enough for you to, for it to really show through for you. It really needs a bigger candle than this in here. But I just, it's just so holiday. And really, that wouldn't have to be for the winter holiday. This could be for a birthday or any kind of holiday with the bow on it. It's like a gift. You could use this as a gift wrap and put the gift inside of it and then still put it in a bag, put it in this, right? I'm sure it's it's probably made in China. It doesn't say, but that, that would be my guess. Okay, so this is one that I thought. This is, it's a ladder holder or a napkin holder made in the USA. And I will, thought I would see, well, it's, I'm sorry, I should have had this ready. I can't read what kind of design, original design by something that starts with an F. But it's the Lucite. The Lucite Poinsettia, Poinsettia letter holder or napkin holder. I think somebody would just be as pleased as punch to have this on their table or their desk. So we have an anchor hawking tea light. Now this is not tea light. Um, fairy lamp. <laughs> now this is the stained glass or flash painted as some people call it. And there's there are a few places... I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Very few where the paint is starting to come off. And then on the edges here, all these edges, the paint has started to, to wear off. And I'm thinking, well, I can't remember what year this is from now. But very pretty. And forgive me for not being able to show you. I'd have to, the, the light switches... In my place here, I'd have to go all over the place to to turn off the lights so you could see a flame. But you could imagine it would be pretty. Now this red glass, and I have, these are glass. Now this is red glass, not stained glass. And I paid $6 for the pair. And can you see the texture it's flower and leaves and vines and even you can kind of see the vining here it's pressed glass this r beautiful ruby red color i i don't know who made them there's no sign of any of, of a maker and i don't even know how old they are But I felt like they're almost breathtaking and different. I haven't seen anything like this online when I was doing my research. Ooh. Okay, so we are going to come, forgive me, I'm turning my back to you. But we have, so these I don't think these are old, but I got these because someday they'll be old. And we'll remember that in this time, the little bottle, bottle brush trees were really popular. And so he's holding a little bottle brush tree and he's holding a little bottle brush wreath. And they're the, uh, some kind of, metal I think 
And look at there. See, he's got the glittery bag on the back. I just thought they were nice. And then this bell Godinger, Godinger. Forget, I'm not saying that right, I'm sure. But this was made in, I think this might be, I don't know what kind of metal it is, but made in, oh gosh, I should have brought my, well, I can't remember. I, I want to say it's like Germany, somewhere over in Europe. St. Nicholas. He's even got his list going. Isn't that pretty? I paid six fifty for him. This is just precious as can be. So I have this Emmanuel Fontini porcelain cherub. Made in Italy. Look at this. Look at it. The ribbon is kind of wilted, but I didn't want to change it. Look at her. Look at the detail. The clouds up in the sky. Look at her face. She's floating. See the clouds around her? Just as sweet as can be. Okay, so we have a couple of Lefton pieces. Now this is a little January snow baby. Look, she's got her fur cap, her fur scarf and then the little hand muff and then she's on skates but she looks like she's cold look at her face she's being on cold and then this little it has the remnants of a left in sticker i believe so i'm assuming i paid 250 and a little angel holding the hearts now, she has a very happy, sweet, sugary, sweet smile. All right. Now, these two, I saw them. I'm sure I overpaid. But they were so sweet. Little, little Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus on their bench kissing. And these are salt and pepper shakers. I wish I could. I wanted some of the cold paintings come off a little bit, but look at that. <laughs> Let me get the sticker. Is that precious? So here's her. Here's her face with her glasses on, and then there's his face. He's saying, "I'm so proud." And this is a. These were made in Japan. Napco. That's what these are. The maker of these. He's so proud to have her as a wife. Okay. So we have, this is Jose, Joseph, Joseph Originals made in Japan. Look now she's the brown eyed. I believe the black eyed are, are more desirable. She's got brown eyes. Look at her little blonde hair. And the way the paint is, is she's a music box and she works. The pink and look at her. I paid six dollars for her. Her little leaves. No cracks, chips, no crazing. 
You was perfect. You was the perfect little angel. So we have a couple of pixies. This one, look at him. Look at him. And look, he's, he's, looks like he's posing for his picture behind and using this log as a prop. Look at him. He's made in Japan. Look at his face. <laughs> and then this one. I don't, this is Noel made in Japan. Now he's pretty dirty. I didn't mess with him too much because I was afraid of fading his colors. But he is, his face is plastic. The rest is felt. As special as can be. Look at his face. <laughs> He's just thrilled to be here. Okay, we are just about through. I did find this Scotch tin in traditional Christmas colors. These are people people like these for their displays. And I found this. This does not have any marks of who made it. But it's a wooden nativity. Now, I have a collection of nativity scenes. But I have to pick, put a limit to it. And I, I'm trying to narrow it down to small ones. Little mini ones. But the grain in this wood. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that grain. And there's the bottom. I mean, look, can you see the grain on their faces? Just beautiful. Okay, this one, it's vintage. This is a Parma made in Japan. I paid $3. Look at him. Is this jolly? Is he jolly? This is a fake little plant I've just put in there. Some of his cold paint has come off. But really in outstanding condition. Look at him. <laughs> I mean, I just he just looks so happy. That's what I loved about him. In such good condition, too. Just remarkable. I did get these little bottle brush trees for a dollar. There's about, there's four of them in here. I don't know what, I, really, I'll just use these for myself. But, I don't know how... Uh, they're not like our modern bottle brush trees. I got it in an estate sale. So I'll, I'll find some way to use these. Or I might just sell them. We'll see. Then I found these tapers. These are Wilton's. I paid $2 for them and they are dated... 1998 candles. Let's see if I can make it easier for you guys to see. Here we go. See the detail? Oh, I don't want to mess them up, but the red and the green and the silver. I mean, really, for candles made of wax. 1998 in China, no, they're not melted or warped, bent, anything like that. So I bet you they weren't stored in an attic or out in the garage, maybe in the basement someplace. Uh, I'll work on getting that. Okay, and then I got this. This is a Christmas card holder. And it is from 1983. Can you believe that? 
was quite a long time ago. I graduated high school in 1980. There's the back of it. Okay, now I want to show you one more thing. Hang on. Okay, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> this cat I got for Halloween. I have it on display over there in the corner at the bottom of the stairs. I got this at an antique store for $6. The base of it is some kind of metal. I think it might be brass. I don't know. <laughs> look. Okay, so the reason it was so cheap is because it has a couple of nicks on the ears, which I've already painted to cover that up. But look, I love him. I saw it, I couldn't believe he was $6. And the body is I don't know if the body is also some kind of metal or no, it's, it's a ceramic because I, the white of the ears where it was chipped. Whew. Okay. So that's, that's all of my holiday things. I just want to say thank you for spending your time to watch this video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you have anything to add to it, you can leave something in the comments. If you want to buy anything that I have for sale, I have an eBay, a Poshmark, and a Mercari account. So, until later. <laughs>